All right, let's get it going, guys. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the call. Liberty Bankers Life has announced some changes that they made last week, so I, I think this is kind of important, so we're going to talk a little bit about that today. I added that to the presentation, but we're also going to talk a little bit about American Amicable and Prosperity, so it's a, I think it's a good combination between the three. So guys, look, you know, on our platform, we, we talk about this all the time. You, you want to lead with prosperity or American amicable. And, and in all, and the way I see it, if you're really going to write a main carrier, it should be American amicable. They both have easy tele-application processes. By the way, Liberty Bankers Life, it sounds like they've made some really good changes to make it easier. So uh, let me just say this. Those of you who can't have American amicable, because I know that we do have at least one agent that that uh, that can't do American Amicable right now, Liberty Bankers Life will probably be a good replacement for that. So, and we're, we'll talk a little bit more about that here in, in a couple of minutes. You know, they these carriers, all three of them, do true social security billing. But here's the way I see it: when I want to write prosperity, to me, the time to write prosperity is when you have a super healthy client, and now they're their price is, is definitely better than American Amicable, but it's not always going to be the case. A lot of these clients, what I'm noticing, at first it seemed like, like Prosperity had a better rate for their level coverage than American Amicable, but now I'm noticing, I did a, I did a, pulled out a quote for a client yesterday, and I realized American Amicable was actually priced better for him for their level coverage. So they're kind of neck and neck. You, you almost, I, I hate to say this, like Prosperity, it's coming down to where you only need to write them when your client has a, a debit card, really, really direct express. That's when you would even start looking at prosperity more because American Amicable, Liberty Bankers Life, they're not going to take a direct express card. You know, with direct express, there's a few carriers that will take it. The guaranteed issue companies will take it. We don't want to use that, but they'll take it. Um, Transamerica, American Amicable. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Transamerica, Prosperity, Security National Life, they, they'll all take it. Trinity Family Benefits will take it too. And, and this is my kind of thinking though. When your client, you're not sure they're going to be able to get level coverage, first day coverage, that's when you definitely want to look at American Amicable. There's not going to be a, an amendment and uh, you can check that box that says that the client will take what is offered. So that's pretty cool. So even if you have to start with level, once you switch gears, there's no amendment to be done. You check the box that says the client will take what is offered. And then when they mail the client the policy, if the if changes need to be made, you can deal with that then, which I think is pretty darn nice, really. The guaranteed issue carriers. I'm just going to mention these two really quick. Great Western. We like Great Western because they go down to 40 years old, but this is important, guys. Try to write AIG. I know they only do 50 to 80 years old, but if your client is between 50 and 80 years old, you should be writing AIG because they do true social security billing. You guys know what that means. That's super important. You know, that's that that could be the difference between your client staying on the books for several months or not at all. So let's talk about that. To me, you always want to lead with a carrier that's going to do true Social Security billing. This guarantees that they will draft the client's payment on the day they receive their Social Security benefits, whether that day is on a holiday or that day is on the weekend. That's the bottom line. You would rather have them always, always, always draft that payment exactly when they're supposed to and never late. Never ask the client what day they would like the payment to be drafted on. Guys, this is an amateur move. This is this is fail. This is how you end up in debt. This is how everything goes backwards real quick. The problem with asking the client, what day would you like me to draft the payment on? These people are not the most responsible. Most of the people we are speaking with are not very responsible. They will convince you, a new agent, that they're all responsible. They all take care of everything. Think about this. If they're 65 years old and they don't have burial insurance by that time or life insurance, how can they be responsible in any way at all, in any aspect of their life? That's my opinion. You're the professional. You don't ask them the doctor's not going to ask, hey, 
uh, what kind of prescriptions would you like me to prescribe? That's not what happens. The doctor tells you, here's what we're prescribing, here's what we're gonna do. So I let the client know, Mrs. Jones, what day of the month do you receive your social security benefits on normally? The third, okay, great. We're gonna, this, this company is gonna draft your payment on the third, but they're gonna verify that your social security benefits have been put into your checking account first. They guarantee you will never get an overdraft fee. It's never going to happen. That's how you need to do this. When the client says, well, Doug, I'm not sure. They don't, sometimes it comes in like, can we just do the draft on the fifth? No, ma'am, we don't do that. We verify that your social security money goes in and then we draft it. If for some reason your money goes into the account on the fifth, the insurance company will know and they will wait. So that's a true statement, guys, because it's not going to happen. These folks, they get the days mixed up. Just always, 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 always draft the payment on the day that they receive it, not according to what they think is best for them, because that's not working very well. So Liberty Bankers Life has made some changes. Everybody with Liberty Bankers Life received an email last week. So check this out. As teleagents, we're going to talk about the tele versus face-to-face. -face. As the teleagents, we use the voice sign option. So what that means is we fill out the electronic application, and then at the end, it gives you the signature options. For telesales, you always do the voice sign. Now, here's what they did. I'm going to read this right the way it was in the email. The authorization questions have been modified to speed up this process. The new process will remove a lengthy verification of the applicant and replace it with a simple question asking the client to state their full name, date of birth, and last four digits of their social security number. And what they do is they ask them, is it okay if we use your voice right now as uh, permission to, to add your signature to your application? The client says yes, and it's done. Um, guys, we know years ago, it used to be the only way that you could do telesale would be to do these long interviews. So you, you have to, with this, when you're using a voice signature, you have to do one thing that we used to do. You have to prep your client. You got to let them know, Mrs. Jones, this is going to be a very quick phone call. Do not start talking about anything. Just answer yes, no, exactly the way they ask. If you start talking about anything or you get into anything else, there could be a problem with this. They only want you to answer the questions. Don't let your client start going off. The next thing you know, they're telling the client they got something. Or I've had clients say, I've had clients asked questions like, do you have, you know, reading the application back in the day, they would ask, does your client have high blood pressure? And the client would go, well, you know, I got high blood pressure, but I, it really, my, and the next thing you know, they're talking about something else. Like, don't let them do that. Prep them. This is very important. Now, for face-to-face -face agents that are doing your, your type to sign option, it says it right here. This is important. If the type to sign option is used, a random sample of applications will be selected for the new phone identity verification call. You will be notified at the end of the application if the application was, if the applicant was selected or the application was selected. So this is what they're going to do. Um, and let me add this. I know that it says it right here on this page. Our phone verification team will place the verification call within two hours of the application being completed unless the app was finished um, at nighttime or on the weekend. And they're going to make three attempts. So that's the only thing I would say is kind of negative. The nice thing about being face-to-face -face is you can do the voice sign too. And you can do it with the client. So you prep them the same way. Or you go ahead and, and you, or you, you, to me, I don't like the idea of this. The last thing I want to do is type to sign with the client and then, then leave them on their own only to have Liberty Bankers Life call them, okay, and, and ask them. God only knows what they're going to ask them. They may ask them, you know, did you meet with the agent, which is fine. But what I don't like is the next thing you know, the client's talking, to, it just, it, it just puts them in a position where the next thing you know, you find out that you don't have a sale. That's the bottom line. This will cost you sales if you don't do it right. So uh, hopefully you guys get the new changes. There's one more thing. I love this. Premium payment. Liberty Bankers Life 
has a new window time limit allowing to post date the first premium draft of 35 days from the date of the signed application. Guys, this is gold. This is gold. So now if you're selling somebody like a couple of days, two or three days before the first and you want to draft the, the payment on the first or two or three days before the third or two or three days before the third Wednesday or whatever the draft date is that they receive their Social Security benefits, you don't have to hope that it goes through and processes on time. Now you can set it for the next month. If you're too close to that day, they're giving you an extra five days. Most companies are only giving you 30 days. So that is pretty darn sweet that they've added this now. All right. American Amicable. I just want to touch on something that I think is pretty cool. With their training, they, the only agents that I find that have issues with their first American Amicable are the ones that don't actually do the final expense e-application training. Because you have to describe to your client when you're sending them an email for the signature, you have to describe to your client exactly what they're going to see and exactly what they're going to click on. The, the training that American Amicable has on their website, and it says final expense product training like it does right here. Once you click that, you've got to open final expense e-application. You'll click that and it's a simple webinar, I believe. Um, and it's just going to show you exactly what the client's going to see, which is pretty cool. So now you're going to be able to see what it is and describe to the client exactly what they're going to see, what they're going to click on and how they're going to add the signature. Make sure you do this training, guys. Every single agent that writes American, almost every agent um, that, that writes American Amicable has a hard time getting the client to do this right for the first time, because think about it. You don't know exactly what they're seeing, but this training is going to allow you to see exactly what they're seeing. So it's very, very nice. I know that um, that uh, Oliver, what, his first sale, I think it was one of his first sales, the client had a hard time with this. He sent me the recording. I listened to it. She couldn't click on it. She had a hard time. And thankfully, she when she said, and this is what they'll do, they'll get tired of it and they'll give up. She said, well, I'll have my daughter do it when she gets home in a couple of hours. Thankfully, that actually did happen. The daughter actually did sign. And I think Oliver actually sold the daughter, too. Um, is that what happened? Oliver, I don't know if you're on the call or not. Is that what happened? You can come off if you want. All good. Either way. But I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So, guys, that's basically it. Um, and I, I think I'm having a sound problem because... I don't hear what I'm supposed to be hearing. Sorry, guys. Uh, let me see. I did want to talk about Buenos Aires. And this is where American Amicable is going for the convention. So I think this is kind of cool. We still have enough time. Some of you guys can qualify for this. Um, and it's not that difficult. The, the production. So here we are in June. So you've got June, July. We've got seven months to qualify. Qualification ends on the last day of December. In seven months, it, it is $95,000, so you do need to send them about $15,000 of annualized premium. Guys, if you've never been to an insurance convention, these things are really cool. You see, you'll get to meet other agents that do the exact same thing that we do, other top producers. You're going to, some of the places we go to is, are very exotic. Buenos Aires sounds pretty sweet to me. Um, I can tell you I've been to Thailand, Rome, Monaco, France. Uh, we've been to a couple here in the United States, uh, did an Alaska, an Alaska cruise with one of the carriers, uh, Hawaii. Get used to qualifying for conventions if you want to be a producer. And for some of you guys, literally all you have to do is increase your budget. Some of you guys are on a lower budget, which is fine. That's up to you. But all you need to do is increase it from maybe the $650 level to like maybe $1,000. Some of you that are at $1,000, maybe you want to go up to $1,300 and, and push yourself. Um, by doing it that way, you're going to have more appointments, more pre-set appointments, more people to speak with. And I guess the bottom line is more opportunities to, to go to conventions, to go to really nice places. Guys, that's basically it. Uh, once again, for those of you who may 
uh, may not have American Amicable. I know there's one agent for sure who, who doesn't have it. You probably better off leading with Liberty Bankers Life. Um, that's it, guys. I think that's basically it. If you need anything, you know how to reach me. Have a killer week, everybody. We'll see you on the call in a couple of days. Ciao. 